guys, we're back with another one, and we got to talk about Shannon Sharp sending more subliminal messages at Skip Bayless. Now, he hasn't actually said anything and has maintained a professionalism on air, but his likes have been telling the story of how he truly feels. One user tagged Shannon. It says, at Shannon Sharp, glad you moved on from Colonel Sanders, Shannon. He did not appreciate your accolades, character, professionalism, hard work, and personality. Move on and may the Lord bless you, bro, and be even more successful. So, man, it's been a string of these all week. It was a few going in on skip bayless saying he was jealous all types of stuff and shannon has been liking these tweets from people so he is very engaged in what's going on he also sent a direct indirect you know message at skip bayless on instagram and he posted a photo like he, he got a lot of photos taken i think he's doing some kind of promotion with um i don't know if it's a garden or like a lowe's home improvement type thing or i don't know exactly what it is but he says, went out to the garden this morning, took the time to pull some weeds, making room for this season's flowers to grow. Stay tuned for the seeds I'm planting. And obviously the weeds are Skip Bayless and he is looking to expound on what he's already built. And somebody said, what you growing up? And he put more success. That was his response to that. So Shannon knows exactly what he's doing, and while he's still in that contract, he's he's able to only say so much, but he's saying so much without saying so much. And Stephen A. Smith came out yesterday, said he pretty much welcomed Shannon over to ESPN because the last time they was together, they cooked Skip together. Check this out. Are the Cowboys still America's team? If you ask Jerry Jones and Skip Bayless, they are. And did they pull the... Are all these people that they pulled from Dallas, Stephen A.? I guess so. No, because, they live all over this Yeah, I'll yeah, let you yeah. tell it. Yeah. As Americans, the one thing we like are winners. I keep trying to tell them. <laughs> preach. Do, preach. Do you, do you remember preach this summer? to him. When Jurgen, Jurgen Klinsmann mm -hmm. said the U.S. soccer team had no chance at winning the World Cup, mm -hmm. people were outraged. How dare you say that about American athletes? We win. Cowboys don't win nothing. They don't even make the playoffs. Mm. They go 500 in 20 years, in 20 football seasons. Since 95, they won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They got two playoff wins. Yep. And they're still America's team. Yep. How? Why? What What America? Skip. What are you doing Skip. standing there? At some, at some point in time. I just want you to listen to the gospel he is spewing. Uh -oh. I've been trying to tell you this for the longest time. Continue, Shannon. At some point in time. Is. The Cowboys need to win something in order for them to be considered America's team. Because so many teams have passed them by. I mean, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won a Super Bowl since the Cowboys. The Buccaneers. Seriously, the Seahawks. You know, I, I'm going to let Jerry Jones make my case for me. Could we hear what he said? <laughs> we, all, we all know Jerry is a great salesman. He, he, he bought the team for a hundred plus million. It's worth two point three billion. Did you see that video billion. you just showed? What about winning, Skip? Winning. Okay, they have a storied past. They won five Skip. Super Bowls, right? They won a couple under Coach Lane. They're in a bunch of Super Bowls. They have been to Super Bowls. Twenty they years. They have Skip. glory in their past. First of all, I must he, jokingly point out that the man stood up there looking like he just had some Botox and said, "We're the most popular team." You understand? Know Everybody watches us. We win in the ratings. Well, really. you're just speaking but the truth. But you don't win on, on the, the field. football field, which is where. So basically, you have an owner that's bragging about the fact that you love bragging. to watch us lose. So I just wanted to show that, you know, with their chemistry and Stephen A. saying that he would love to have Shannon on a few times a week. That would stick in Skip Bayless's crawl a little bit uh, if he was to see that because you have to think about it. You know, he built first take and he took Shannon over him over with him to undispute it. But obviously he brought Shannon on first take when he was over there, right? Just to be a guest. So if Shannon turns around and goes back and becomes a regular, not even that that has to be a show, but if he goes back and gives first take anytime and gets his own thing over there, that's going to sting Skip because, you know, he brought him along and Shannon spread his wings and grew. And it's crazy because Shannon was still rocking with Skip and Skip is getting up in age and 
the way he is you could look at the numbers from their individual podcast because he tried to shame Shannon for having less Twitter followers a while ago. And now Shannon has eclipsed him with his growing popularity. And that's what Shannon feels like was one of the things that caused the strain in their relationship and um, many others. So I, I do think what happens next is going to be significant. And Stephen A. Smith already said that he's going to Shannon's Club Shay Shay podcast for a sit down and Shannon Sharp has already agreed to come on his podcast and I, I wonder did all of this get into play after it was announced that he was leaving you know Stephen A has love for Skip Bayless he's one of the ones that is gonna rock with Skip Bayless to a certain level to the end of time because much like Shannon he helped put him in position, even though Stephen A. had much more decorated journalistic background. When Stephen A.'s career was on life support, he brought him back, and that's what it's been since then. And Stephen A. came back with his business acumen intact and everything. He even spoke about that uh, last night on his podcast, I believe. So, um, I don't know, man. What do y'all think about what Shannon Sharp has been doing online as far as taking digs at skip bayless do you think um this is appropriate do you think this is causing a riff on the show because you could see even how they look at each other on the show like they know that they know what the elephant in the room is they're just trying to maintain professionalism but for him to take these shots and then go in there and do the show with them is kind of like a smack and skip face a little bit and a smack i think you know, he's intentionally delivering because he know how sensitive Skip is, man. So um, I want to know you guys' thoughts about this. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.